Hey, welcome back. My name is Monroe, and today I'm going to be breaking down the Rogue Echo Bike. I'll be showing you how to set it properly and adjust it for your height. I'll show you how the monitor works and a couple cool little tricks with it. And I'll even show you some techniques on how to ride the bike so that you have a better time during your workouts and don't get so winded and so gassed from this thing. Now there's a few different ways to set up the Echo Bike, but what it really comes down to is comfort. Typically what we recommend is sitting on the seat, your leg should be locked out at the bottom of the pedal stroke when the pedal is in the arch of your foot. Normally when we ride the bike, we would ride it with the ball of our foot on the pedal. So that should give you like a five degree bend in your knee, which should be plenty. As far as the seat slide, we want it uh, not too close to where it's hitting your body, but also not slid so far back that you have to overreach at the front of the stroke and really lean into the bike. These settings are not hard and fast. They're not rules, they're just guidelines. Take this as a starting place and then play with one notch up, one notch down, one notch forward, one notch back on the seat. Uh, again, it's really about comfort and what's gonna work for you in the long term. Later in the video, I'll go over some efficiency on the bike and how to actually ride it to get the most out of it. But step one is going to be having a proper fit for the bike and having it set to your height. Now with the Echo Bike, Rogue did a great job on the monitor. It's bright, it's large, the buttons are simple, and it's an easy interface to use. You can hit any of the buttons on the right to set up a specific workout for the bike. If you wanted to do an interval or a set number of calories or distance, this is how I would recommend setting it up. When you are riding in a workout and we're resetting this bike every time, that you hit stop, stop, start. Make sure that the timer is running when you're riding. If the timer's not running, you will not get any calories or distance for the work that you just did. And it is absolutely devastating in the middle of a workout to have that happen. One trick, if you'd like to switch the bike over to meters from miles, all you need to do is hit the top and bottom arrows when the bike is off and hold for a few seconds. It should switch right over to meters uh, and then you can hit start and ride the bike. Switch it back to miles exactly the same way, just opposite. Now you got your bike all set up and you're ready to ride. What do you actually look at when you're looking at the monitor? When people start, we typically tell them to pay attention to the wattage first. That's your power output on the bike, and it can be a great metric of how fast you're going and how to know when to push a little bit harder or ease off. For 50 calories for time, we recommend getting the bike going as fast as you can, pumping up those watts, and then trying to hold as high of a cadence as you can. Once the bike is spinning, you've already done the hard work. You just need to keep it spinning. Try not to put too much extra force into moving the bike once it's already at that high wattage. Now, the last thing we're gonna look at today is posture. Whenever we're riding the bike, we wanna make sure that our chest is tall, our shoulders are pulled back, our airway is open, and we're breathing. The worst thing we can do is get hunched over, eyes down at the monitor, and just living in the suck of that bike. It's gonna make it so much worse, and I swear this bike can feel <laughs> your emotion and if you give into the bike and you let it know that it's hurting you, it's just gonna punish you even more. So stay tall, stay open, stay breathing, and stay confident on this bike. And with that, you should be a professional on the Echo Bike. I hope you got something from this video. If you did, I'd love to know in the comments below. Also, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one. My name is Monroe, and I'll see you soon.